Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we learn about Norton's theorem. And as we had discussed uh, in Thevenin's theorem, that if you have a complicated circuit and you want to find current or voltage in a small load, this may be a bulb, this may be a DC fan or anything then you have to go through all these calculations and then come to the result. But Mr. Thevenin suggested that instead of doing this lengthy process, if you can calculate the voltage here and calculate the resistance at this point, then we can have a circuit like this. We write this as a V Thevenin voltage and the resistance R Thevenin and then we can connect this load, uh, connect this load to find the load current and voltage. Now, 43 years after his uh, theorem, uh, Mr. Norton from Bell Telephone Laboratories, he came up with another similar idea. And his idea was that instead of finding voltage at this point, if you can find current through this point and the resistance uh, remains same, so we can have another circuit which can be written like this, that the current that we found and uh, the resistance in parallel, same resistance as R Thevenin. So this is known as the Norton's theorem. And with this again, you can connect the load and find the load current and voltage. Now Thevenin's and Norton's theorems uh, are kind of uh, interchangeable, you can say, that if you know the Thevenin's theorem, you can find the Norton's theorem. Or if you know the Norton's theorem, you can calculate Thevenin's theorem. Although we'll not be doing it here, but this is just for your knowledge. And uh, let me just give you a short example. Let's say this is the Thevenin circuit, 10 volt, 5 ohm resistance. If we short this terminal, then we can find the current, which will be 2 ampere. You know, 10 volt divided by 5 will be 2 ampere. So for the Norton current, we'll write this 2 ampere. And the Norton resistance will be same resistance as Thevenin resistance. Similarly, if you have this circuit given, then you multiply 2 by 5, you get 10 volts, so you get the Thevenin voltage, and you put this resistance as the Thevenin resistance. Now, let's solve an example here. We have to find Norton's equivalent circuit for this. This is the load. Now solution we need to find I short circuit or I Norton and also we need to find Rn, the uh, resistance of the circuit. To find In or I short circuit, we remove the load resistance, so we remove the load resistance and short circuit the terminal. So we short circuit this terminal as shown here. So we have shorted this terminal and then we need to find this current here and also we need to find the resistance of the circuit. Okay, so this circuit can be redrawn like this. These two resistances are now in series, so 12. And to find the current or the total current, first of all, we have to find this all resistance. So it is 2 plus 3 and 12 in parallel. So you can say that our total is 2 plus 3 and 12 in parallel, which is equal to 4.4 ohm. So we can draw the equivalent circuit now, 10 volt, and this whole resistance is 4.4. So we can find the total current flowing in the circuit, which is V over R, that is 10 volt divided by 4.4 is 2.27. So this is the total current flowing, and in our circuit, up to this point is 2.27 and then it is dividing into two parts. We are interested to find current in this branch which has the short circuit terminal. So we will use the KCL formula, I hope you remember. By KCL, I short circuit will be total current which is 2.27 divided by total resistance, total resistance multiply by opposite arm. So we want in this current, so we will multiply by opposite arm 3. So I short circuit is 0 0.45 ampere. And now we need to find R Thevenin. 
and this is the circuit we now short circuit or put the voltage source as zero and this is zero now these two are in parallel and then the result is added with 10 ohm and 20 ohm in series so we can say rm is 10 ohm plus 2 plus 3 in parallel plus 2 ohm and this when you solve you get 13.2 ohm as answer so we can draw the Norton circuit with these parameters IN 0.45 RN 13.2 so IN 0.45 RN 13.2 and if you want to find the load current etc we can connect the load and then solve this circuit easily Now let's do example 14, uh, 4.1 we have to find the Norton equivalent circuit at the terminal AB since there is no load here therefore there is no need to disconnect anything we will just need to find the uh, current at this point and the resistance so we know that to find IN we have to short circuit the terminal AB so we shorted this terminal AB and now there is a very interesting thing and you have to uh, understand this concept that any current from here will pass directly through the short circuit and will not go into the 5 ohm resistance why because here there is no resistance and current will choose the lowest resistance path or no resistance path that means this 4 ohm resistance is of no use now and we can remove this resistance so our circuit will now become something like this the 5 ohm resistance removed and keep in mind that we need to find this current ISC or IN which is same as I2 here now we have drawn two currents or two, two loop currents I1 and I2 and now we can write the equation from mesh 1 we know I1 is 2 ampere because this is the current flowing in the circuit so we directly write it I1 is equal to 2 ampere to find I2 we have to uh, solve in this um, second mesh so by KVL we can write minus 12 plus 4 into I2 minus I1 since we are in loop 2 therefore I2 will come first so I2 minus I1 plus 8 I2 plus 8 I2 that means 16 I2 is equal to 0 and from simplifying this then putting I2 I1 is equal to 2 ampere we can find I2 is equal to 1 ampere which is also I short circuit and which is also I not. Now to find Rn again uh, we know the technique that we have to put the source as 0 so we put this voltage source 0 by short circuiting and we make this current source 0 by open circuiting and now we are looking from this side so you can see these three resistances are now in series that is 8 plus 4 plus 8 is 20 so we can draw the circuit like this 20 and 5 in parallel so R Norton will be uh, 25 in parallel so R Norton is 4 ohm and so this is our Norton equivalent circuit we have put in the value of the current IN and put in, in the value of RN now let's do the practice problem uh, which is almost similar so we'll follow the same technique short circuit the terminal AV so we shorted the terminal AV here also this 6 ohm will become useless because all current will flow through this so we remove 6 ohm so this is our circuit now we need to calculate IN now we can calculate IN by either super mesh method because this is a current source in between the two mesh or we can ca uh, calculate it by nodal analysis this voltage here nodal voltage by source transformation or by superposition method 
I will do it by superposition method. So I take uh, first of all this source and uh, remove this source. So this is the circuit. And in the second case, we remove this source or make it zero and keep this source here. Now from this circuit, you can easily calculate the current and we have changed the name from IN to IN1 and IN2. IN you can easily calculate from here, total voltage divided by total resistance. So IN is 15 volt divided by 6, 2.5 ampere. And from here we can do it verbally that 4 ampere current is dividing into two paths of equal resistance 3 ohm and 3 ohm. So it will be 2 ampere on each side. 2 ampere on each side. Or you can use KCL method that is total current divided by total resistance 6 multiplied by opposite arm 3. There also will get same answer. So we have now got a n1, uh, i n1 and i n2 and the summation of the two will give us i n. So i n is i n1 plus i n2, 2.5 plus 2 equal to 4.5. Now to find r n, we just uh, um, put the source as 0. So this one short circuited, this one open circuited. Now you can see that 3 plus 3 is in parallel with 6. Therefore Rn is 6 parallel 6 is 3 ohm. And so our equivalent circuit will look like this. 4.5 ampere and 3 ohm resistance. Okay, <clears throat> now let's do the end chapter problem. Problem 4.50. In this problem, we have to obtain the not an equivalent of the circuit left of terminal AB. So this is terminal AB, so left of this. That means for this portion, we have to find the not an equivalent and then use the result to find current I. So this current I through the 5 ohm resistor, we have to find this current I. So let's uh, separate the load portion, this one, and we'll find use this to find I, N and R, L. So you know the procedure that we have to short circuit the terminal. So we short circuit this terminal and we need to find this current I n. Now the easiest way is to convert this portion by uh, with the help of a source transformation. So source transformation this will become 8 volt direction positive at the top because this current is going up and this 4 ohm will become in series. So this is the circuit now. And by KVL, we can very easily find current I n. So let's write the KVL equation. Minus 8 plus 4i plus 6i. So plus 4i n plus 6i n. And plus 12 volt. Plus 12 equal to 0. And from here we can calculate I to be minus 4 over 10 that is minus 0 0.4 ampere so this is i n now let's find r n so again the left part of the circuit r n we need to find we got to put current source 0 and voltage source 0 this we make 0 by opening it and this by shorting it so our circuit will become like this and you can see these two resistances are in series. So Rn is 6 plus 4 equal to 10. So Rn is 10 ohm. So our equivalent circuit will now become like this. The not an equivalent circuit. Minus 4 ampere and 10 ohm. It is better to uh, remove the negative sign by changing the direction of the uh, current source. So we change the direction now from the current source and do away with the minus sign. So this is the equivalent circuit and now with this we'll connect the load. So our circuit will now look like something like this. Uh, these two here, 5 ohm and 4 ampere uh, is, uh, current. Need to find this current here. So you can uh, use any of the techniques that we have learned but I'll follow 
the source transformation uh, sorry superposition i'm sorry superposition that means we'll use one source we do away with the other one so this one down uh, taken away now this current you can see the current is coming from top to bottom whereas this current is going from bottom to top therefore we have to put a negative sign with i1 so i1 is equal to negative sign total current divided by total resistance multiply by opposite arm so we want to find the current here so this is the opposite arm so i1 will be minus 0.267 so this is with the leftmost source now we can use the rightmost source and uh, same way with this we we'll need to find current here we call it i2 so i2 will be the total current 4 divided by total resistance multiplied by opposite arm so 2.667 ampere now i is the summation of i1 and i2 so i is i1 plus i2 Minus point two six seven plus two point six seven, so answer is two point four ampere. So I hope this gives you an understanding as to how to solve uh, Norton theorem's problem. These are simple problems. In the next video we'll uh, do um, um, with the dependent source. Thank you.